Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing the brand new reveal of Hasuyan Voltorb. Now, the Pokemon company had been teasing an announcement on their social media all week, something about a ton of ancient Pokeballs infesting the Pokemon website. Uh, as the week went on, they began teasing us more and more with some hints about what this could be in regard to. They talked about explosions and having to clear away the Pokeballs, and pretty quickly, it seemed apparent that we were getting a new reveal and it would have something to do with Voltorb and Electrode. We weren't sure if it was going to be Electrode or Voltorb, uh, if they were going to reveal something, it turns out it is Voltorb. So we have a Hisuian Voltorb, we have yet to see Hisuian Electrode, but I would assume that is coming. And yeah, let's just jump right into the discussion here. So, Hisuian Voltorb, a brand new regional variant of the Generation 1 Pokemon Voltorb. As I mentioned in the intro, we're probably also going to see a Hisuian Electrode at some point. It'll probably get an evolution. I'd be surprised uh, if they reveal it officially now. It'll probably be something that we'll eventually see once the game comes out. But it is a thing. It is in the, the Hisui region. You're going to be able to catch it and add it to your team. There's some really cool lore additions that they've made on the Pokemon website telling us about what Voltorb's role is in the Hisui region and how it seems to eventually become the modern day Voltorb that we all know and sometimes love except when he explodes on us in, in battle. But one of the interesting things about this Voltorb is that it is an electric grass type, which says a lot. It, it, it makes it feel more natural. It makes it feel more, you know, organic than the original Voltorb felt. Having that grass typing is also going to be really interesting for coverage and for teams. Uh, another really cool part about this Voltorb is how cute it looks. Uh, the original Voltorb is kind of mean looking. He's kind of in a bad mood all the time and we were always always questioning why is Voltorb like this why is he constantly ready to explode well we got some information regarding that in this reveal so on the Pokemon website they talk about how Voltorb are seen as essentially pests in towns in the Hisui region people would come around and harass them try to plug up the hole that allows them to dispatch electricity uh, and this led to them having to flee towns and this led to them being very angry uh, constantly because they weren't able to discharge their electricity properly this says a lot about how Voltorb is in this time period, as opposed to what he eventually becomes in the modern Pokemon games. You can just see based on the designs alone that this Voltorb is a lot happier in a lot more uh, high spirits than the original Voltorb that we have. It's a really fun little piece of lore and it, it speaks to something that I mentioned in a previous video this week about how Legends Arceus is going to give us so much more of an expansive uh, knowledge and understanding of the relationship between people and Pokemon. This is something that the Pokemon company does really well all the time. A lot of these blurbs, which eventually become Pokedex entries, give you sort of a taste of how the relationship between people and Pokemon impacts both groups. Voltorb is a really good example of this. The only reason that Voltorb goes from the original version that we see here, the Hisuian Voltorb, to modern Voltorb is because of dis uh, mistreatment by humans and eventually evolution through what a Pokeball looks like in the world. But humans have a direct relationship with how Voltorb eventually comes to look. And seemingly Electrode will probably also get an evolution. Usually when they give base forms, uh, regional variants, we usually see the next evolution get one as well. Though that's not always the case it usually happens so i'm really looking forward to seeing what hisuian electrode ends up looking like and yeah it's 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 really fun and it's some really cool lore piece and i kind of feel like i want to add Hisuian Voltorb to my eventual Legends Arceus team. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you do subscribe, also be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload because we are going to have a ton of Legends Arceus videos coming out in the next two months in the build up to its eventual release. Now, I think it's worth saying I've never been the biggest fan of Voltorb as a Pokemon. I really never used one growing up. It was always just an annoying wild encounter, and it was always a difficult battle when you had a trainer to fight an NPC who had an Electrode. But this one is different. I really like the lore addition that they've given to Voltorb. I think it makes it really interesting, and I think it makes it 
out to be a pretty interesting piece of the overall Pokemon world, which is something exciting to me. And it brings up a lot of interesting questions about how Voltorb you know, eventually becomes what we've always known him to be. A lot of the lore with Voltorb was always that maybe it's a ghost, a possessed Pokeball. Uh, po Voltorb began to gather in Pokeball factories. Uh, that's a lot of the background lore that we have about it. But this is a more ancient version. This is one that has a grass typing. Seemingly, there are probably no Pokeball factories in the Hisui region. So some of the lore pieces that we're going to get to learn about with Voltorb is going to be really interesting and I'm really going to be curious to see how the Pokemon company and how Game Freak chooses to kind of weave in its story with what we already have known about Voltorb. Maybe the modern day Voltorb is how we get that lore. Maybe that's the only reason it exists. And if, if that had never happened in the Pokemon world, we would still have the Hisuian version of Voltorb. But it also looks a lot like the older Pokeballs. There's a lot of questions here. There's a lot of chicken and egg uh, questions with regard to Voltorb. Did humans craft Pokeballs modeled off of a Pokemon like Voltorb? Or did Voltorb evolve and adapt to try to survive in towns of people by trying to mimic what Pokeballs look like? And as the ages kind of go on, Voltorb have to mimic a different looking object because the object itself evolves. It's really interesting. One of the other things that we saw from the reveal trailer is seemingly the confirmation of different sized Voltorb. There was a, a, a trainer talking, talking, uh, interacting with a bunch of different Voltorb out in the wild, and they were a variety of different sizes. Is this specifically something exclusive to Voltorb, or are we going to see sizes of Pokemon finally get kind of flexed the way they should. It's a really cool piece of Pokemon lore. I mean, look at our own, look at our own world. Literally no animal is the same size. Different animals are different heights, different weights. Humans are different heights and different weights. It only makes sense that Pokemon should have some sort of variation. And they do when you look at their bios and their Pokedex entries. Different Pokemon are going to have different sizes. Sometimes in home features or Ami features, you can see Pokemon of different sizes. But we've never really seen it fully fleshed out to where if I go out into the wild, am I going to see Voltorb of different sizes? And am I going to be able to pick the size of Voltorb that I want? When Voltorb eventually evolves into Electrode, is that Electrode going to size, you know, accordingly based on the way Voltorb was? And that has a lot of really interesting implications for other Pokemon. Are we going to see different sized starters, different sized wild Pokemon? I really, really hope that we are. I think that's an excellent piece to kind of make the world feel more real and more alive. We'll just, we'll have to see how far Game Freak chooses to go with it. I think it's really interesting. I think it's really fun. This is a really cool reveal. Uh, the way in which they revealed it as well, I think says a lot about their approach and how their approach has changed with game releases. They've been a lot more open to just not dropping trailers on YouTube, but doing teases, building up to reveals on social media and other platforms. I really like it. It gets the community involved and it also kind of lets you spread out a hype cycle. You can tease a Pokemon reveal for a week if you want to, instead of just dropping a trailer at 9 a.m. on a Monday, pretty much like unbeknownst to anybody until it happens. With this, you can build up some excitement. The Pokemon company as a brand can build up engagement. I mean, they don't need it. They're the biggest multimedia company on the planet, biggest multimedia property, I should say. But it really does a lot for fans. It gives a lot of, you know, content for content creators, which I also really appreciate. And I'm really happy with how this happened. I made a video this week talking about a potential Hisuian uh, quillfish that might have gotten teased in BDSP. And now we're seeing more Hisuian Pokemon revealed. I love, I love that we're seeing this in Legends. It's not something that I thought we were going to get right off the bat. It's not something that I immediately was like, oh, new Pokemon. Because, you know we're at a location that we've already known. Why would there be, you know, new Pokemon that we didn't already know about? That would be a pretty big retcon unless they handle it properly. And so far, I think they are handling it properly. Properly. I can't speak this morning. I apologize. Anyway, I'd like to know what you guys think. Are you excited about Hisuian Voltorb and an eventual Hisuian Electrode? Do you like the grass electric typing? Do you like its little blurb on the Pokemon website about how it interacts with humans and how that's kind of shaped what Voltorb is going to be? I would love to hear what you guys think down below. And as I mentioned before, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe. It, it, it helps me immensely. You have no idea. And also be sure to leave a like. You don't have to leave a dislike anymore because you can't see it, but likes are always appreciated. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.